Hey guys, it's uh, Mr. G, Mr. Wells again. Uh, so this is uh, Unit 2, Day 3, and here we're incorporating both scientific notation and word problems. Um, so the first thing that I do is obviously read the whole problem. So for practice problem number two, it says, Mr. Wells bakes 10 batches of cookies, and each batch weighs 4.91 times 10 to the negative 6. So what would the total mass of Mr. Wells' cookies be? And write your answer in scientific notation. So there's a few key things that we really want to take a look at. First off, there's 10 batches. Each of them uh, weighs... Uh, nine point or four point nine one times ten to the negative six. So whenever I see each, I have to think in my head. Um, I need to multiply. All right. So I'm just gonna rewrite uh, four times point uh, nine one times ten to the negative six, and I'm gonna multiply that all by ten. All right. And this is pretty pretty straightforward. All right. Now remember from unit one, if there is no uh, exponent, there's an invisible one up top. All right, so it's, all I'm really doing is rewriting 4.91, keeping my base of 10, and then combining my negative 6 exponent and my positive 1, which would change that to a negative 5. And that's my final answer. Number 7 here. A large building has an area of 40,000 feet. A smaller building has an area of 8 times 10 to the third feet. How many times larger? How many times larger? How many times larger? We're going to talk about this a lot. That's a very, very um, important key term for us. How many times larger means to divide? So we're going to divide the 40,000 feet, because that's our larger building, by the smaller building, 8 times 10 to the third. First thing I want to do, write them both in scientific form. This is 4 times 10 to the fourth over 8 times 10 to the third. Um, we did last time, we did 4 divided by 8. That's 1 half. So we're going to leave that as 0 0.5 times 10 to the 1. Notice this is too small. So I've got to make that 0 0.5. I've got to make that a little bigger to 5. See how I made this larger? I make the exponent smaller. So instead of 10 to the 1, it's 10 to the 0. So we can leave that as 5 times 10 to the 0. Or, remember from unit 1, 10 to the 0 it's actually just 1. And 5 times 1 is 5. Either answer is fine. This one's good. That one's good too.